morning, everybody, and thank you for taking a little bit of time out of your day today to watch the, the video that we're going to go over, uh, 5x10 diamond seed dump, uh, as well as a 14-foot landscape trailer. Uh, we just got to thinking this morning and talking a little bit. We realized that it's getting a little bit warmer outside, so a lot of the landscape and phone numbers are going to start ringing. You guys are going to have people calling and wanting you to come out to take care of their, their weeds that have been growing all winter long, so we figured it's better to get set up with the equipment that you need a couple of months early that when that phone starts ringing you're not going to miss a beat getting out there and making some money uh, we're going over this 5x10 dump the reason that we chose this one is we find that uh, on these 5x10s these are the perfect residential type landscape or residential type dump trailers uh, reason being the width only being five foot wide as opposed to a six or even a seven foot wide is these guys will fit a lot better in driveways if you've got to get it you know tucked into a backyard somewhere to get some landscaping done things like that these guys fit through most residential gates um, but this guy just kind of starting up front here is going to have an adjustable two inch coupler you've got a seven thousand pound drop leg jack uh, all of our dump trailers whether it's is you know a little five by ten all the way up to a 14 or 16 foot dump they're all going to have these solar panels on top of the toolbox lids here uh, and then we always order our tarps six foot longer than what your dump bed's going to be. So this is a 16 foot integrated tarp. And the reason we do that is because you've got access to these snake pockets on the outside. So whether you want to order an expanded metal kit or maybe even a, a solid steel extension kit for the side of this guy, you can. Uh, or you can even use some two by fours and plywood, build up some temporary sides and this tarp is still going to function for you as long as you're going 24 inches or less on that extension. So we just try to set it up the way that we'd want it set up if we were buying a dump trailer. Uh, in the back around here, you'll notice that this one's gonna have tandem 3,500 pound axles. Uh, if we start getting into some of the bigger stuff, we can go 5,200 pounds all the way up to seven, even 8,000 pound axles. Uh, as you come back around here a little bit further, you'll notice we've got your normal barn door configuration. As you come back around a little bit further, you'll notice that we order all of ours with uh, at least five foot or 60 inch slide-in ramps. Uh, once the trainers start getting a little bit longer, the, the ramps themselves will get a little bit longer too. Uh, these guys slide back in real nice and easy. These guys just slide in here like so. The reason I wanted to tuck those ramps back in there is to kind of show you the spreader gate. So the spreader gate on the Diamond Sea Dump Trailers is a standard feature. You pull this pin out here, and that bracket swings out of the way, and now you've got access to a spreader gate here. So like I said, that's going to be standard from Diamond Sea on anything you know, as small as a 5x8 single axle, all the way up through a 14 or 16 foot, 14, 15k dump trailer. We're all going to have the spreader gates and the barn doors on there. You come back here on this side, you'll see a lot of the same features uh, outside of that spare tire mount. So the spare tire mount up here, we have Diamond C we put it on the curb side of our trailers on all of them. That way, you know, God forbid you are on the side of the road, change out a spare tire. You're standing off in the ditch on the, the shoulder of the road as opposed to being out in the road exposed to traffic. Uh, so once again, this is the Diamond C, what they call an EDG. This guy's a 5x10, 7,000 pound GVWR. Ends up giving you about a 4,800 to a 5,000 pound payload. And we can get these guys as big as a 16 foot, 14.9 GVWR and anywhere in between. The next trailer we'll look at over here for the landscape guys is gonna be what they call an LSD, uh, which stands for landscape trailer. Uh, we are pretty proud of the way we set these guys up. We've done a lot of, a lot of research on our end, talked to a lot of landscaping guys, figuring out what they like, what the must haves are, maybe some options that a lot of them are set up with that guys don't find that they're necessary or functional. Uh, these guys here, this one's going to be a 16 foot, 16 by 83. You got a two inch coupler up front, 7,000 pound drop leg jack. This is going to be a five gallon water cooler holder here. And this is going to be just a big toolbox, a big cage up front where you can store gas cans, additional attachments for weed eaters, things like that. As we come back around, you'll notice that you've got the same five lug, 3,500 pound axles. So you've got a 7,000 pound GVWR on this guy. All the Diamond Seed trailers are going to have a, what they call a full wrap tongue down here at the bottom. So the tongue's integrated as a part of the frame as opposed to just being welded to a cross member. These guys are going to have 48 inch tall expanded metal sides. And then we went ahead and upgraded the gate back here a little bit too. Uh, as opposed to just doing your traditional 48 inch straight gate, we have Diamond Seed uh, put what's called a reinforced tractor gate on these guys. So you just get the additional cross members here on the outside of the the gate here, the reason being that way if you're loading any tractors, mowers, things like that, you've got the option to do that without 
folded up your expanded metal here in the middle. Uh, we also put springs on both sides. So it's dual spring assist, 48 inch tractor gate. If we come back around this side, you'll notice that we've got some weed eater racks here. Um, you can put weed eaters, tree trimmers, anything you find that kind of runs into these slots, you can lock those guys in, padlock them at the top, and that way you know they're safe. They're not going anywhere. If somebody decides they want to get sticky fingers and try to take something off the tree. Outside of that, we've got a lot of other different options for you landscape guys. Um, anything that we can do to earn your business, please feel free to give us a phone call, 520-579-3000.